Hello Cyber Galactic friends, it is Connie over here and today I'm going to be talking about a topic that honestly I don't know if I know a lot about this topic. I think I'm just gonna try to like talk about what I have in mind at the moment instead of just trying to think too much about it because then it just kind of becomes fabricated I think. But yeah, today I, I really want to talk about the differences and how like smoking is perceived in Europe and how it is different from like America, you know, because I have never lived in America, I have never been to America, but I have had a lot of feedback from people that live in America that have told me how smoking is perceived there. And I have lived in Europe, in Portugal, since I was born, so I have a very good like idea of how people view smoking in here. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna talk about, just the differences and how it is in Europe, you know? So yeah, let's do it. I hope I don't miss too many things, but whatever. So I think that the first main difference is that in Europe, your legal age to smoke or do anything, to be honest, is 18. So you can purchase like uh, tobacco products, any type of products, and you can smoke them when you are 18. So you don't need to be 21. And I know that it used to be 18 in America as well till a couple of years ago, like two or three or last year, I don't even know. But that's the like main difference, I think. But like, I'm gonna be honest, in Europe, people start drinking and smoking at like 15. And if you go to like a tobacco shop or just, usually tobacco here is sold in like gas stations, grocery stores, usually have like a side store where they sell tobacco. And if you go to those stores and you're like 15, 16, and this is not good by the way, but this happens and I have seen it happen. Um, you go and you're like, oh, can I have like Marlboro Reds? And they just look at you and they're like, eh, okay. Like sometimes, rarely, if they, if you, if you look really young, they will ask for your ID. But if you're like a 16 year old that looks old, older, you know, if you look like you're 20, they won't even care. They're just like, eh, okay, whatever, here you go. They don't even ask you for your ID most of the times. I have never been asked. And I kind of have a little a baby face, I think. So, I mean, I was asked one time, but I was already 21 at that point. So I don't even know what that was about. But Another thing I was very surprised to hear about America is that smoking in public is kind of a taboo. And it's looked down upon, which in Europe, you go out and you are... If you, if you stay outside for more than five minutes, you are going to see someone smoking. And people smoke in parks, like people just smoke everywhere. There are even like some coffee shops, not a lot. Like I know two coffee shops. Back in the day, a lot of coffee shops would allow you to smoke inside. But now I honestly only know like two or three. But there are still places where you are allowed to smoke inside. And people just start smoking really young here and no one looks down on you like oh my god i mean no one some someone is going to look down on you but it's not a thing that you are ashamed of doing outside because you are scared of what people are going to think about you like that that's never a thing i even think that i even think that a lot of young people in europe start smoking because they get compliments um, because they will be walking around or in a group of friends and their friends will be like, oh my God, you look so cool smoking. I don't know, I want to try. And then they try and then everyone in the group is smoking, you know. It's something that people kind of, especially kids, not kids, like young adults, like 18 year olds are like, oh my God, that person looks so cool. I'm going to smoke as well. So I look cool as well, you know. Um, so yeah, when you are smoking outside in Europe, I feel like you don't feel ashamed at all. Unless you are ashamed of smoking yourself, but you will, you will never get stares or anything like that. And no one will ever look at you like, oh my god, you're smoking, you're infer inferior to me, you know? Like, that doesn't happen here. At least I have never experienced it, and I have smoke outside. And when I record, people usually, like, look at me, but it's because I'm talking alone in my car, so, you know, it's not really about the smoking. Another thing in Europe that's very common, and I think it's different from America, is that in Europe, it's way more common for um, 
people to roll their own cigarettes than to smoke packed cigarettes, I would say, because at least all of the people that I knew from school, either high school or college, everyone would have their little like packs of tobacco and their little like filters and papers and everyone would do their own, would roll their own cigarettes, you know? And I think in America, people have more of a habit of uh, smoking packed cigarettes. I don't know if that's correct or not. That's just like my perception of how things are. So I don't know if it's real or not. It's just like in Europe, I see a lot more people rolling their own cigarettes than smoking packed cigarettes. And also, a lot more people smoke like those Icos things, the heated cigarette system, than actually like packed stuff, you know? What else? What else? Let me think. Um, the Icos are very big in Europe, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I've never tried it, just because I think it smells really bad. I really do not like the smell of Icos, I just think it's so weird. Um, but yeah, I would love to roll my own cigarettes, but I am just very, like, I'm, I lack talent to do it. I really do. I've tried so many times. I swear, I've tried a lot of times, and they all just come out completely crooked and stupid looking, you know? So, I just small pa smoke packed cigarettes because it's honestly easier for me. Um, it's cheaper to smoke your own rollies way cheaper but uh the time i would spend just trying to make a good one and the tobacco i would waste on making bad cigarettes i just rather smoke packed i guess um but yeah what else i think those are the main differences i think the big thing is that in europe you will never be ashamed by anyone in public for smoking or you will never be like trying to conceal you smoking if anything you will be like oh my god look at me look at me i'm smoking you know like in europe a lot of people just are like smoking like you know just outside just showing their cigarette not showing like to your face but like no one tries to hide it i don't know if anyone tries to hide it in america but i have heard that people are kind of ashamed of smoking because of what other people look at them like and have even said things to them like to ashamed them you know so that's kind of weird just mind your own business i guess but But yeah, there's a big, I think in Europe, there's a way bigger culture of uh, romanticizing smoking than there is in America. Because in Europe, I don't know, there's a lot of that figure of the, the woman smoking and just how pretty it is and na na na. And I don't know. I don't really know. But yeah, I think those are the main differences that I have discovered by my own analysis you know so yeah i have never been to america i would like to go just because you know it's such a different place than europe and i've i've only ever been in europe i've never been out of europe in any way so yeah i would lead, i'd really love to like go to america just to see like what's up just to i don't know just to check things out i guess and see things but yeah i think those are the main differences just people smoke more their own rollies you can buy tobacco since you are 18 and probably 16, which is not good because no one asks you for your ID. I would not, do not try to do this because although it is my experience, it could not be yours. And um, I don't know, just don't smoke before the legal age, you know, just don't smoke at all. But yeah, those, I think those are the biggest ones and just big groups of friends, like in college, just going out to have a coffee and like smoke and it's a big thing and everyone is just like no one cares if you're smoking or not just kind of they probably will just think you look cool so yeah i think that is it i am not very really remembering anything else but i'm sure there is something else and when i'm editing i'm gonna be like oh my god i just forgot this big thing so if i do i'll just put it here but yeah i don't i don't know but yeah i really hope you enjoyed i really need to stop saying but yeah i, I say that too much i'm always saying like so yeah but yeah like shut the fuck up you know but it is what it is so yeah see i told you but yeah anyway i'll see you very soon uh thank you so much for watching and leave a like if you liked the video and if you didn't like then well i'm sorry bye bye anyway bye